In this session, we'll look at some brand new subassemblies that have been made available for Civil 3D. This bonus subassembly content can be found in Productivity Pack 3 for Civil 3D 2016. Let me mention that Productivity Pack 3 is a subscription benefit for Civil 3D users. If you would like information on how to get this Productivity Pack, please take a look at the description for this video. In there, I've placed a hyperlink that will tell you everything you need to know. All right, let's take a look at how we can load and use these new subassembly parts. I'm going to start by bringing up the tool palette. I'll do that by pressing Control 3. Historically, if we're going to choose a subassembly part, we use this palette to do that. The goal is to take the new subassembly content and add it to these tabs. I'm going to start by coming over to the tool space, and I'll choose the toolbox tab. Right here you can see I've installed Productivity Pack 3. Let me click to expand this. I will then expand AutoCAD Civil 3D subassemblies. To import the new content, I will double click the import option. I will then use the source file area to select the subassembly parts I'd like to import. The trick is knowing the directory where those were placed when Productivity Pack 3 was installed. Let me show you how we can find that. I'm going to click to close this dialog box, and then I'll come up and click the Help button. When the Help document comes up, if we come over to the left side, you can see how the Productivity Packs are segregated. Let me click to open up Productivity Pack 3. I will then come down and choose New Subassemblies for AutoCAD Civil 3D 2016. I will then come over to the right and choose to add subassembly PKT files to a tool palette. And then right here, this is the directory where we'll find that new subassembly content. I'm going to steal this. I'll just select it. I'll right click and choose copy to copy that to the clipboard. I will then close this dialog box. I'll come back and double click the import option. In the source file area, I'll come over and click this folder button. And then I'll come up to the top of the dialog box. I'll click, I'll right click and paste that directory and then I'll press enter. So I'm now in that ProPack 3 subassemblies folder. From here I can select the subassemblies I'm interested in. In this case I want Imperial. Notice that each of these subassemblies is saved as a PKT file. The fact that these parts are provided as PKTs means we can edit them if we want to. Each of these parts can be opened in Subassembly Composer, where we could create our own custom derivatives. They could also be reverse engineered and used as a guide to create completely new parts. Now I could select one or two of these if I want to. In this case, I'm going to select them all. I'll click to grab this first one, and then I'll drag down to the bottom. I'll hold my Shift key, and I'll select this last one, and I'll click Open. Next, I'll use the Import To option to tell Civil 3D where I'd like to import these parts. I'm going to import them to a tool palette. If I open this menu, I can select the tab. I'm going to drag all the way down to the bottom. I apologize, this is creeping off screen. There's an option called Create New Palette. We're going to do that. I'm going to call this palette PP3 Subassemblies, and I'll click OK. I will then click OK. Right here, you can see the new tab that we created, and that tab is populated with all of those new subassembly parts. Let me drag this back up. Let's add one to the drawing. I'm going to start by creating an assembly. I'll keep all the default properties here and I'll click OK. I'll click to place this on screen. Let's zoom in. And I'm going to add a curb EMB pipe. I'll select that and then I'll snap this to the insertion point of the assembly. Now let's talk about the help documentation for these objects. Historically, if I go to another tab here, I can right click on a part and come down and choose help to access context sensitive help for these parts. This will give me all of the variables and all the settings, tell me how each part is used. Let's close this. To leverage help for the new parts, I'm going to come back to the toolbox tab and I'll double click subassembly help from here. Right here I will see the same list of parts. In this case I chose that curb EMB pipe. If I select the hyperlink we can see that the documentation is formatted in a very similar way. When I'm finished reviewing the information, I'll click the X to close the dialog box. Finally, we'll flip this back to the new tab. So if your workflow includes Civil 3D 2016 and you're on subscription, try exploring these new subassembly parts. Some of them may represent exactly what you need for your next corridor design. Would you like to explore other Autodesk infrastructure ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the Civil Immersion blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.